Well, guys, here we are at Parker Automotive. You can see my blind is down um, 4 p.m. on a Sunday. I'm doing my couponing. Uh, so I'm just kind of sitting in my office doing my day stuff. Um, and so there's a whole nother ish story on coupons. Um, I save tons on coupons because believe it or not, being a small business, um, we're not getting rich. So got to cut corners where we can and I help my family out too. So, um, so with all that said, I just wanted to say, let's see, here I am in, I don't know if you can see me in my sweats. It's my day off and I just wanted to peek in and show you what the mechanic does on his day off. Um, so here we are at Parker Automotive still. Oh, you can see me in the Jag in my full body sweatpants being comfy today on our day off on a Sunday. And there's the mechanic down there working on a 2007 Chrysler Sebring with a 2.4 motor. He has, I hear the car has started, so he wrapped up the timing chain. If you watched any of our other videos, which you can check out, um, talking about our downfalls on uh, when Chrysler Dodge dropped the ball, sent us the wrong part that was a special order, and so I had to go to Hyundai, cross-reference the number on the timing chain guide. Got that all taken care of yesterday on a Saturday. Otherwise, this poor guy, um, who's an 80-year-old man, wouldn't have had his car back till probably Tuesday or Wednesday if we had to wait on Dodge. So, um, well, that's all done now, right? Yes, I know. I was setting all that up. Uh, so here's the mechanic. I was just saying, here's what he does in his comfy clothes on his day off. Um, he works on cars. Uh, he don't take a day off because he's a dedicated uh, serviceman and a dedicated business owner who wants to get the job done and wants to keep it rolling. And I think he actually enjoys working on cars. So on his day off, um, he'd rather come in and work on a car. Yeah. Well, okay, so we already got it all so done. The timing chain's all done, and yeah. now what? Guess what? Look. You wow. see the bearing on the uh, axle? Yep. Look, there's, the bearing's gone. Here's half of it. So, man. Well, so we'll be calling this customer tomorrow and finding out if he wants us to replace his axle as well. Yeah, so if you, you probably see it on the other side. What? Oh, just, here, yeah. Come well, on. I'm going to have to bring him in and show him because um, come on this side. he's a little hard of hearing and he's a little old. So. You see right here, the whole bearing. Oop, oh, I don't want this shit. Hold on, I um, did something there. Let's see, it's actually... It's an intermediate shaft right here, and there's a bearing that holds this in, and it's gone. It's almost Looks like, too bright. You gotta oh, get sorry. rid of it. That's good over there. Uh, over there is good. Yeah. And you see, it's right here. Yep. It's all gone. Well, all gone. So. Uh, and hit your and motor now. When you think you're done a job, you're not done a job. Um, there's always something else that can go wrong on a car. Always something else. Uh, to find. So, well, this nice gentleman uh, bought this car at auction. Um, he, and here in our, a couple towns away, there's like a local auction. Not not like the car auction like you would think, the bigger ones, but there's a real small one. And Well, I'm going to say they bring in real POSs to the auction, sell them to unsuspecting, really kind customers, and then they come here and we find a lot wrong with them. Um, but... Thank goodness at Parker Automotive, our master tech finds everything wrong, fixes it up, and then they got a reliable vehicle. Because um, this, you know, this guy, if he has any problems on the side of the road, well, he's 80. Um, and his wife's old. And he's a self-sufficient uh, man who's living on his own still, trying to make the best of his life. But he can't be changing a tire or dealing with an axle problem because, right. you know, and this guy was in the military. He was a Navy man. Yes, sir. Worked he at Campbell's was. Soup in Camden, New Jersey. Um, until he retired from there. Luckily, he got to retire and get his pension before they shut it down. Right, before the Democrats helped out. Uh -huh. and, uh, before of, they decided... Like um, their mission to destroy. Before they decided that um, people who work hard here in America don't get nothing. Only the people that don't live in America get something. See, the reason why I work this hard on my... America! Customer, when I work this hard on my customers' cars is because I'm third-generation immigrant. And when the, we, my family came here, they waited 10, 15 years before they had kids so that they could establish themselves because, well, nobody gets a handout. Well, they we're, um, we work hard. We're Irish. 
Italian. Italian. Me, I'm Norwegian and Scottish, so our ancestors come from hardworking people. Uh, we're Vikings, we're Celtic, we're, uh, I don't know, but we're, <laughs> we're hardworking people. That's what we do. You got to pull okay, yourself up by your own bootstraps. Like but you see, this is what happens when I'm working on someone's car, you know, uh, you find so much wrong. And then when you're dealing with a, with a customer who is age and then he's, he goes to doctor's appointments. He's, he's always at the doctor's. And he relies on this car. Right. And sometimes you have to do that. And then the worst is I'm going to have to tell him, hey, uh, <laughs> need an axle. It's all right. We can fix his axle, axle in an right. hour or two. We'll end up doing it for the cost of the part, but, uh, Yep. In this case, because we did such a, a heavy job for him. But, All right, what do you say when you're wrapping it up? I got stuff okay, to do. Okay, well, God bless you. God bless America, and stay safe. And thank you for watching.